Well, good evening, fellow simmers. Figured I'd uh, start an episode off uh, with regards to the track IR5. I think it's a uh, pretty neat little function here, especially for simming. Makes uh, life a little bit nicer as we're flying uh, within the inside of aircraft. Now, I'll leave a uh, link here underneath the uh, description here uh, for the naturalpoints.com uh, website uh, with regards to the track IR5. There's track IR4. Uh, it's quite a neat feature, like I said. Um, of course, you know, you get this nice little eye which you end up mounting on top of your computer monitor or, like I've done, my LG flat screen. Uh, I'm using a 56-inch LG flat screen as a monitor for flying within the x Plane 11 simulation. And I find it quite works quite well. Anyways, uh, with this track IR, it uh, gives you lots of cool little functions here with the uh, yaw from side to side, your pitch forward, your roll side to side. X's, uh, you know, especially for helicopter pilots that are like in the fly a lot of helicopters here. I don't use this myself, um, but if you're doing uh, sling loads, especially underneath lifting stuff up, if you have those add on plug in features within X Plane 11, uh, this tends to come in quite handy for that. Um, getting over to the Y, which is up and down just kind of squat and kind of deal. This works quite well as well. Uh, a lot of these features I have shut off though within my track IR just for this. Uh, so again, it's uh, you go onto to the web page there. It's uh, nice little videos that they give you here. And if we scroll down, you can see what the uh, download software is all about uh, in order to get things set up within X-Plane 11 pretty straightforward and as we scroll down a little bit more it will give you some specs and then we keep scrolling down it'll show you differences with the 4 version and the 5 version and if we scroll down more we get some prices on some of the track IR bundle packages that they have to offer now currently I'm running the track clip pro bundle uh, now you get this wonderful eye and you also get the headset side clip here with two infrareds on it, which the main eye here picks up these two infrareds, which are mounted to the side of your headset. And as you turn your head, well, of course, this tracks it and makes it seem like you're actually inside the aircraft looking around instead of using the keyboard. It allows you to eliminate the keyboard for, keyboard, I should say, for your field of view. So I found this bundle package quite good for my needs. Again, it's whatever fits in your budget price, uh, but highly recommend it, especially for simming. Now, let's just get out of here and jump into the actual software program. Now, right now, this is currently the software that I've got installed on my computer, which tracks the uh, headset here for track IR5. And of course, uh, this is pretty much what it looks like. It's a pretty simple, straightforward download, uh, pretty much loaded to your uh, C drive, your basic operating system. You don't need to plug it into X-Plane 11 at all. You just put it into a different storage place. As I said in my previous videos there for uh, hardware and uh, hard drives, uh, I run X-Plane completely on its own hard drive. I run a one terabyte hard drive that's completely dedicated to X-Plane 11 only as it does load, uh, stores huge files and it will require a ton of room in order to be able to uh, add these scenery, enhancements, plugins, meshes, uh, overlays, all that kind of stuff. So getting back to this tri tri or track IR5 I should say, um, as you buy that uh, Pro Bundle clip kit it will give you a couple of options so this one here being the track clip which attaches to your ball cap rim you can either run with that or if you're running a nice headset um, you can put on the track clip pro it attaches as just a basic clip it opens up attaches to the side of your headset and away you go now if 
you're not running a headset and you're just running headphones or iPhone plug-in type phones, uh, buds, that kind of stuff, then you will have to go with the uh, track clip. It'll be easier to use that onto a ball cap and away you go. Now, as for settings here, motion, as we can see, as I'm moving my head to the right, the screen is also moving back to the left, up and down, and that is all just off your head. So for people that don't know anything about the track IR, I highly recommend uh, having this as an add-on. It's a quite a nice little feature, and it just eliminates keyboard usage, and you can focus more on the flying part. Now, I'm not going to get into too much specifics on this. This is all pretty much self-explanatory stuff. My speed of motion control, I like to have it set at 0.8. And for smoothness, I have that cranked up to 50, but again, that's just personal preference. Um, you just, you got to find your own preference and see what works for you. I find this is what works for me. Now, getting down to advanced settings here, profile. So I've created my own profile within this, uh, instead of just running default every time it opens up and then having to readjust everything. I've just created a EC135 helicopter profile and once I click onto that, it's set and ready to go. Now, as you open this up every time, the default settings are going to be all check mark here with the all pitch roll X, Y, Z and true view. Now, if I check mark all of these again, you'll understand why I have these myself unchecked as it gets a little bit more shaky within the headset. My head is completely still. You still get the little bit of jitters that it's moving around. It's, it's fairly sensitive. Of course, if I lean my head to my shoulder, it does the side to side look lean forward into the monitor and everything comes closer and away from the monitor it does the exact same and so in some situations I don't quite like that some helicopter pilots that are doing sling loads this could be quite handy in your situation especially if you were to maybe say the window was open within the side door of the helicopter and you're leaning out through the window like you would a car to look down so this might be beneficial to you for me uh, I don't quite like that, so again, I like to leave true view unchecked, Z, Y, and X unchecked for my personal viewing. And you can see how much stable it gets by unchecking those four items. Um, and I think we'll just uh, we'll leave it there. Uh, we won't uh, get too much into this, like I said, for tiles, camera setup, that kind of stuff. It's a pretty basic setup that I just jump into, and this is what I find that works for me. Now, I've already pre-loaded uh, X-Plane here. It's up and running in the sim. Now, I'm going to put a pause on this and just see if I can get this thing to record while we're into the sim. So bear with me here, and uh, we'll see what we can do.